Hello students. Today we are going to attempt one of the sample papers or a few of the sample questions from ACID. It is specifically for grade 8, but for grade 5, 6 and 7, it can be a challenge. And for grade 8 and grade 9 can attempt it in order to close the knowledge gaps. Let us begin. And you need to focus on speed and accuracy. Though there are just few questions, but the focus should be speed and accuracy. Question number one, choose the option that can replace the underlined words in the sentence without changing its meaning. That means you need to rephrase it. If you do not abide by the rules of the institution, you may face suspension. We need to look for an alternative for this phrase. Option A, plan. Option B, follow. Option C, believe. Option D, dictate. Try replacing the word here. If you do not follow, plan the rules of institution. If you do not follow the rules of institution, if you do not believe the rules, if you do not dictate, try replacing. The hint is try eliminating first the most incorrect option. Secondly, the option that doesn't fit as per the structure. You will be left with the correct answer and the distract. The distractor might appear to be the most appropriate answer, but try reading the sentence as per the context. It might be out of place. The distractor seems attractive, but it is incorrect. Try looking for the right answer. Let us proceed to the next question. Choose the correct option that matches the sentence given below. Which sentence? The sentence that is a bold. He was known as a great playwright and as a great artist. He was known as a great playwright and as a great artist. And means two qualities. Let us see, choose the correct option that matches the sentence that given below. Option A, he was not known only as a great playwright and as a great artist, not only and option B, he was not as a great playwright, but only as a great artist. He was on, known only as a great playwright and not as a great artist. He was not only known as a great playwright, but also as a great artist. Remember the correlative conjunctions where you use not only but also. Let us proceed to the next question. Next question is slightly lengthy. It is a reading comprehension. Read my life as a lump of clay and answer questions three and four. It seems that the pot is speaking and it is giving its life history or the journey. My life as a lump of clay. It was just around the 15th century when I was just a wet lump of clay in a potter's workshop in China. I had no idea what was going to happen to me. I just wished I could get out of that place so I could join some of my friends. Well, finally, we wish my wish came true, but in a dizzy way. First, I was picked up by two coarse hands of an old Chinese man who dropped me on a table like a potter's wheel. Then I saw the man's foot pressing on a pedal and the table I was on began to turn slowly. I was then molded towards and he dug out a hole in my bottom. That's when the table began to go even faster and I was getting so dizzy that I passed out and everything went black. After that, I didn't know what happened. 
but when I eventually woke up, I felt very hot. I looked around me and saw fire. I must be in a kiln. I would have been in there for quite a long time as I was boiling hot. Then the door opened and the Chinese man put me on a bench and left me. I was cooling down a bit when that man came again, probably to torture me for the fourth time. But I was wrong. He was actually just painting me, which was nice. He finally finished painting me and then glazed me. And I was finished. I was taken to an old place and placed on a shelf for decoration. After a long time, I was put in a box in a dark cupboard. I fell asleep for a long time. And when I woke up, I was where I am today, in an antique shop. I found out that I was a Ming vase made in the 15th century and I am now worth a million dollars. How's that for a lump of clay? By Rachel Cook. And the source is My Life as a Lump of Clay and the website is given. And let us look at the questions. Which of these did the speaker probably enjoy the most? Option A, being worth a million dollars, being given the finishing touches, C, being molded by the potter's hands, option D, being placed on a shelf in the antique shop. Next question, the main idea in the fifth paragraph focuses on which of the following? Option A, desirability. Option B, reflection. Option C, realization. Option D, joyfulness. Try attempting this using the strategy of lab elimination, eliminating the most incorrect answer. First, in, uh, eliminate the incorrect answer, then eliminate the answer that seems it doesn't seem to fit in as per the structure. You will be left with the distractor and the right answer. Try reflecting on both the answers. The distractor might appear to be very pleasing and the right answer for you. But try reasoning out using different strategies as per the context, as per the meaning, and as per grammatical structure. I hope you will apply the strategy successfully and achieve maximum score in your asset. I wish you all the best. Thank you and have a wonderful day.